Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I thought I'd take a opportunity to show you a really quick tutorial on how to write a chatbot using um, um, Mini Maxer Text Gen RNN and uh, exploiting the Matrix Python SDK. So you can have a chatbot connected to your chat who will talk to you. In this chat, my buddy Byron went on vacation, so we replaced him with a bot. Byron, what are you doing? Uh, hopefully. Oh! <laughs> he's not super smart, but he's fun. Let's see if he says anything. Byron! Stupid block spare wolves between the best. Yeah. Yeah. If you guys have seen text gen RNN before, it's really cool. I mean, it, it clearly understands sentence structure, but the content tends to be kind of um, lacking. Still, it's an incredible RNN. Uh, okay, so let's do this, okay? Uh, we'll start with training up a new bot. Um, the text gen RNN library comes with a set of data sets uh, I'm gonna use the reddit rare poppers <laughs> politics this guy has a sense of humor you can clearly tell and I'm going to uh, I'm gonna show you what to do okay so it's incredibly simple like it could not be more simple so let's start with um, code tutorials we're going to make a new directory like we always do uh, chatbot we're going to cd into chatbot there's nothing here. We are going to Python M them this location. Uh oh. Nope, that's not gonna work. You know why that's not gonna work? Because it has to be um, Python 3.6. Because 3.7 doesn't work yet with TensorFlow. As far as I know, this is a, this is a test for me also. It's been a couple of weeks, guys. I got a new job, so I've been super busy. As a result, I have not been programming much. Source bin activate for everybody who doesn't remember what that is. If you look inside the folder, there's a folder called bin, and inside bin, there is a function called activate that will change your environment variables to use this version of Python. Okay, so if we do a pip list, should be just pip and setup tools, right? Nothing else. Um, okay, now we're gonna pip install text gen rnn. Yay! Oops, installing Keras for us, that's nice. Well, that, does that mean it's gonna pull in TensorFlow? Does it need TensorFlow? Uh, let's see what happens. pip install TensorFlow GPU equals, ooh, let's just do that, see what happens. There's a new version of TensorFlow out, I don't know if it, 1.12, hmm, we'll see. It may not work, we may have to install 1.10, I believe is the one we need, but let's just check. Because maybe they fixed it. Who knows? Who knows? I'm going to um, change over to TensorFlow personally. Sorry, not TensorFlow. PyTorch. Uh, because it seems really neat. I don't know if it's just the new neat stuff, but I I like it. Let's check if TensorFlow worked. Import TensorFlow. No. Oh, really? Since when? That can't be true. Is that true? Does TensorFlow require pandas? Python import TensorFlow. Okay, it's working. I don't know. There you go. Oh, what about Keras? Import Keras. Yeah, okay. She's working. You can just use uh, 1.12 if you want. Okay, um, next we shall write some code. Uh, we should probably open in this folder, create a new text file. We'll call it chatbot.py. Uh, we're going to edit that in a new instance of Kate. I use Kate, guys. Uh, I don't know why, I just do. It has text highlighting and I love it. So, here we go. 
it's incredibly simple to write something uh, in, or to write a, a, a text generating AI with text gen RNN. It's like ridiculous. So text gen RNN, okay, from text gen import, text gen RNN. This is not a big mystery. This is on the website, guys. If you just go there, you can read this all. I am effectively copying what they wrote. That said, uh, I like to reset it because it comes pre-trained. There's like a imported thing. I just like to re reset. Uh, so here, this we, we set up a new object that is the text gen RNN, uh, and uh, then we're going to call text gen reset. Text gen reset uh, erases the pre-trained network, so it won't work. Um, then we're going to go text gen dot train from file data sits reddit I'm just going to copy paste this because why am I typing it bam dot txt we're going to do 10 epochs just to show you how this is working because I don't want this to take 100 years uh, I normally train them up to about 100. You, there is a real chance of overtraining with this network. You can. There's a whole bunch of functions if you read the API uh, for dropout and doing a bunch of stuff to prevent um, overtraining, but it's fine. If you have a big enough data set, you'll be okay. If you have a small data set, you're going to overtrain. Uh, we'll print a done statement for fun. Then we will save our library. It works a lot like... Um, Keras, because it's written in Keras. So, yeah, the text gen train from file. I'll show you what the files look like. Give me a sec here. Uh, it's, oh, I should probably just open this up. There we go. Um, oh, I might have to... Yeah, forgive me. I have to, um, to clone. I forgot to clone it. Clone or download... Cloning and downloading. Git clone. Let's go. Okay, so data sets. Here it is. Rare puppers. Politics. Gives you a bunch. You can pick anything you want. So you'll notice they're just sentences, okay? They're political sentences. Uh from the subreddit for politics and rare puppers sentences which is um this stuff <laughs> so the results kind of entertaining you probably enjoy it uh you can use any anything you want as long as it's a, a list of sentences okay this network learns the grammar of sentences and uses the words that you've provided it to meet the rules of the grammar that it develops that's it it's uh sounds simple but it's brilliant um okay so this is not going to work because it's actually in here but i don't need this We'll save it to the root, and then at the end, you can do a thing where you can go generate, and it'll actually just generate you a bunch of text files. It also does that while it's training. So here we go, Python chatbot pi. Hopefully it'll work. It might crush my training. Okay, 2,000 text collected, training on 150. Oh, crash factory. Okay, uh, that's because I'm using the GPU to record this, so... Well, I'll be back. Actually, I look like it looks like I, I'm seeing a uh, error here about uh, the CUDA, CUDA NN library, the CUDA libraries. So it's probably my version of CUDA doesn't match the version of TensorFlow I've got installed. So I'm going to change it. Pip uninstall TensorFlow GPU. Do, 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 do. What? Wow. Hmm. 
We're going to install the one that I'm pretty sure works. Equals 1.10 point. How about that? Does that work? No. Point zero. No. Oh yeah, equals. Man, I'm, yeah, you know, I'm trying to do this quick. Yeah, that's the problem. Uh, I think ten works. So let's test that. I should have checked this before, before I started. Actually, I can check this really easily. Source bin. This is my personal one. Pip list rep by TensorFlow. Oh, it's one point. Yeah, one point ten. There you go. So we're good to go. Okay, let's try this again. Hopefully, it won't crush my computer. <laughs> there you go. It's training up. So uh, we'll be back in a couple. Of, actually, let's wait through one generation because you'll see uh, the way he's written this uh, just excellent library. It'll generate every epoch. So it shows you temperatures. So they. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Um, Trump for Trump Compart still stole to got a heckin' president to the press consider of Trump investigation. So it's just gibberish. Uh, at 0.5 temperature. So the higher the temperature, the crazier the bot tends to get, or the more creative the bot tends to get. Um, Mexico claims Americans' investigation and hopestickle <laughs> collusion will ret. The promise to pupper players against to this so the first time. Donald Trump wants for a Tenron. Yeah, it's, it's just goop right now. And then at 1.0, it's it'll get... Uh, so like at the start at, at 0.2, you'll, sometimes you'll end up with exact copy pastes from the, um, the library that you've trained it on, if you've overtrained it a little bit. Uh, at temperature 1, it's just... It's like making up words. It's extremely fun. What do we got here? Trump already album WS. Grob boy belt. I mean. Trump as whale the gulf burez. So where are we at? Two. Oh man, it's training quickly. We're at, oh, we'll just let it finish, eh? Let's, let's see what else we get here. <laughs> Why was internet another top bill to claim into Russia reported? Why was that, guys? Senate Donald Trump admits all the law to be no open. <laughs> That's not funny. Um, yeah. We, uh, so again, I was telling you guys about this one earlier. This bot right here, Byron bot, this is, this is my buddy's chat history. Uh, we train up a bot on his chat history. So when he left, he actually left for, I don't know if I'm supposed to tell us, but I'm good anyways. He left for Lent. He got rid of the internet for Lent. Uh, yeah. So I trained up a bot on his past chat history so we wouldn't we wouldn't have lost him. It's actually not bad. Hey Byron, say something awesome. Sometimes he takes a second because uh, I actually put him on a Raspberry Pi uh, and let him run independent of my computer. So he just lives on a Raspberry Pi right now. It's kind of fun. I got a little AI running on a Raspberry Pi chatting to my buddies. Something jepid by the work. Choose you die playing the munt. Yeah, thanks, Byron. You can get him to invoke himself, too. By, uh, I'll show you this stuff, too. I just added it, it the, uh, oh, okay, it's done. Let's see what Byron says. Let's go, Byron. It takes longer when he has to think about it. Again, it's on a Raspberry Pi, so it takes a really long time. Oh. See, there, he invoked himself, Byron Robop. When you should have a bee. <laughs> what happens while I was to figure it to still play... L okay, it's gibberish. Bomberman code, bad over... Yeah. Byron, you suck. Okay, folks. So here's our trained network. Uh, at 10 epochs, the... Uh, the ooh. Mm. Mm hmm interesting <laughs> Trump talks after the senators of the security committee of the lowered by party to the president Trump Comey stops about no Trump takes Trump to conserve conservate Russian 
and the most position of the healthcare confirms. So at 10 epochs, it's still mostly gibberish, to be perfectly honest. But the cool thing is that it's learned sentence structure, uh, right? So like the, you know, basically you got, <laughs> I'm going to try and explain English sentence structures. I don't know how. Okay, guys. So that's it. If you want him to generate some more stuff, you can actually uh, pull him up in Python. Uh, so we'll just go from text. We'll do this whole thing again. Import text gen rnn. Let's go. Uh, text gen equals text gen r. I could just copy paste this, couldn't I? Yeah. And then I think we can go text gen dot load red rare pubs.h5 yep and then we can go text gen dot generate get him to say some shit so there you go so that's uh, the a basic structure of what we're gonna do in the next tutorial I'll show you guys how to set up the matrix Python API so we can uh, have our um, headline generating pod see you then